Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Josh. And we're the Two Beer Queers. And we are at the DC Web Fest, and one of us might be tucked right now. And it's not me. I have been wanting to talk to you since this festival sparked, honestly, since before, because I love your show. So please tell me, what is your origin story? How did you come up with the concept? Uh, yeah, like, how did it all begin? Yeah. So Tom and I are college improv rejects. Um, that's how we met. And then we had a radio show for a long time. And then I made a project, and I was like, Tom, come do a fake podcast with me, and like in character. And it was a total flop, it's like so bad. terrible. <laughs> but it's... after that, we were like, let's do a real one. Like, that's just us. And that's how Two Beer Crew started. Well, so the best part about it was we had to come up with names for this fake podcast for the show. Oh, wait, tell me. Tell me what were some of the ones that you Oh, my God. Well, well, so it ended up being like Dig, Dig Me, me out, out, I think is what it was called. But the we don't know what it means. was one of the, the names from it. And so that's how we, like, I said it, and I was like, okay, we have to do this at some point in the future. Yeah. Okay, so it went from faux podcast to real podcast, name included. I love it. That's great. So what is next for you? Oh, my gosh. I think we're talking about other media. You know, the podcast is great. We have a lot of other podcast ideas, but now we're like, what's next? Is it video? Is it a zine? Is it a website or a newsletter? We're not sure. Yeah. Tell me, because I want to be there. Perfect. So. Yes, please. We'll get you included. <laughs> no one focuses on the fact that I made our theme song, that I did all the music for the show. Yes. And so music has been something that I've been working on for like 10 years now at this point, and it's totally something I do on the side, but like, our theme song is me. No one asks us, uh, no one really asks us about like the issues that we talk about outside of the only like one or two they know. Like people ask me about like, what about this law? Did we talk about that? And I'm like, the queer experience is so large and huge that the questions you should be asking us are like, what kind of people do you have on your show? And like, what kind of wide range of topics do you cover? Not just like, are you talking about same-sex marriage? Because we are, but we're talking about that and sex work and trans identity and a whole bunch of other things. Actually, I think, fun fact, I don't know if we've ever actually talked about same-sex marriage on the show. We might not have. I don't think we have. No, because there's so much else to yeah. talk about, like there's tucking so much, and more. drag queens and a lot of talk about tucking. Yeah. Last episode of this. So much tucking. <laughs> What is your favorite thing about the way that the DC Web Fest has grown over the last few years? Okay, my favorite, my favorite thing about the way that the DC Web Fest has grown is quite frankly, the fact that people turn up, the fact that people show up, the fact that the people who show up are people that I want to show up for. Like, I know that sounds really, really cheesy. I'm just happy that people come. I'm glad that we've been able to grow and include things like podcasting and blogging, um, and I'm glad that Every time that someone makes a connection here and ends up working with someone that they've met here, or ends up having their work picked up, or you know, just highlighted in some way, that feels good. I think we'll close this up. Thank you so much, Otessa, for everything that you've done. This is a wonderful space. Thank you so much. And let's get drinks for real. And oh, absolutely. I want to hear your horror stories. Oh my gosh. All of them. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll